Genki. My uncle just kidnapped me. Locked me up. What? Dude, are you okay? I had to fight him. Then I said, I told him we're done. For good. I'm sorry. That's... That can't have been easy. It's what I had to do. I'm headed to the Science Center. Call me if things get bad in Harlem. I will. Good luck, Spider-Man. could get a little maudlin, so um, instead I'm going to phrase it as a call to action. If things are bad in Harlem. The underground, rocks on, tinkerer, it's, it's all coming to a head with a neighborhood caught in the middle. City Council candidate Rio Morales is organizing a full evacuation of the Bronx. So please, if you're outside Harlem and can offer a room, a bed, a couch, anything, you could save a life. I know you're afraid. I am too. But this is our time to come together as a community. We are strong enough to survive this. Today's advice is to hold your loved ones close. Goodbye, friends, and good luck. Middle school graduation was bittersweet. Finn went to Midtown High, but I got into Brooklyn Visions. Said we stay in touch, but man, high school's like a whole new world. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool. Finn was always checking out books before she finished her last ones. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp. Got the to tour Oscorp in eighth grade. Finn was way skeptical. Said that they were gonna destroy New York one day. Devil's breath almost proved her right. Oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of, and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. Got this on a field trip to a Wakandan Design Group Expo. Finn saw all the tech on display and shouted, I want to be an engineer. <laughs> Guess it stuck. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. Ha! <laughs> Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath. Finn upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. She never could stand losing to anyone, especially me. Mom made this pique hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it, and wound up buying three CDs and a t-shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. 
She wanted to reinvent the whole world. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. Hey man, I don't think I ever told you about the time capsules me and Finn hit around the city. Anyway, I just found them all. Really threw me for a loop. Oh, were they foreshadowing your present situation? No, it just... Reminded me how simple we thought the world was. Ah. I was jealous of how planned out she had her life. First she'd solve global warming, then world hunger. Next was curing cancer, and before she retired, communicate with aliens. I don't think any plan you had would have included you getting nipped by a genetically engineered spider. Yeah. I guess things are different now for the both of us. Billboard's been taken over by the underground. Bet there's more to it. Miss you, Dad. <laughs> Every store's out of Canaras. Oh, I, I knew I should have started Spider-Man coming early. through. Best fries in town. You see him close renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Oh, that can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Finn's ran the city for years. After the plaza, we'll take it place. And since Christmas, I thought he'd come back after the bridge exploded. Imagine if he pops back up and finds out we killed his protege. Not an enemy I was. We would have gone after him eventually, both of them. Anyone who thinks they can stop us from doing what we want. Heard we were morales is that great Harlan. So peaceful, knocked out. Now you're lucky, Dane. Sorry.
It's out for you. Search, check the perimeter. Come on, Search. Someone check on him. Checking it out. Let's do this. I'm gonna find you, Spider-Man! Check the perimeter. Come on, Serge. Someone check on him. I'll look around. Over here! 
So peaceful, knocked out. Someone had to take him out. security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Yeah, this'll work. Webs won't reach. Yeah, that doesn't line up. to the shacks. Got it. Sticky and conductive. That's one. Feeling good. Well, this is gonna work. Working. A couple more. Yes. I saw 
one more. I can't believe how well this is working. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. 